Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and I have another command block contraption for you today. Yesterday, I saw a video by Seth Bling where he made a Scrabble spell checker. Basically, you can type in words and it will tell you whether or not they spell check to legal words in a Scrabble dictionary of like 170,000 words. And so I decided I was going to build one of my own for you today. And it has a little bit of a different interface than Seth's and so I have kind of like a little keyboard over here where I can just kind of you know backspace and erase the characters and I can start typing a word like W I if I type T all of a sudden it's going to turn green because wit is a legal word as is with so it's going to stay green but if I do O it turns red and do another U, but then if I do T, it turns green again. And so basically, if the thing is currently a word, it will show up green. Otherwise, it's going to show up in red. Uh, and one, one thing that's nice about the way that I have coded this up is that it's very fast. Um, you can see that basically instantly as I type different letters, it will, you know, determine whether or not something is currently a word or not. And so... I think that is pretty cool, and the way that I made it work so quickly involves a data structure called a tree, or tri, sometimes you see it pronounced either way, T-R-I-E, and I'll explain that in just a moment. But first, something I think is interesting about this particular interface is uh, I can't backspace off of the beginning, but I also can't type past the end of any legal words. So suppose I have a word like crucial here. Uh, actually, let's look at the prefix C-R-U-C-I. I can type an A, and that is the legal prefix of a word. We just saw crucial. I could type a B, and that's also going to be a legal prefix of a word, because there are words like crucible that are here. But if I try to type a C, nothing happens. And that's because there are no words that start with C-R-U-C-I. And so effectively, this lets you click on different letters to explore the dictionary. If I do F, then all of a sudden it's going to let me type the F because there's words like crucify farther on down. But basically, this lets you kind of explore, given a prefix, can I type any more letters and eventually get to a legal word? And so you can just kind of try things out in order to find things in the dictionary. And so in the case of C-R-U-C-I, the only letters that could continue to eventually form words are A for words like crucial, B for words like crucible, and F for words like crucify, uh, or crucifix for that matter. And yeah, this is related to the data structure that I am using to encode all of the data. And so we can go ahead and try to show that off now. It is basically a whole lot of command blocks that are organized as this tree data structure. And so if I take a look at some of these things, you can see that there are a bunch of different short rows of commands that start with an impulse command block and then have a few chain command blocks kind of coming out at them. And each of these guys, the impulse command block always does one of two things. It either fills things with wool 14, which is red wool, to say that it is not currently a word, or it fills things with wool 5, which is green wool, to say that things are currently a word. And somewhere in here, let me just actually teleport him, or teleport me to him, there is a magma cube, or as commands like to call him, a lava slime. So if I teleport myself to lava slime, uh, there he is. I made him an invisible glowing lava slime. So if you're just kind of flying throughout, you can just kind of see that there's this block highlighted over here. Uh, so you can go and find him. Uh, if I'm in spectator mode, I can just fly through the blocks. But basically the position of the lava slime of the magma cube corresponds to one of these impulse blocks and specifically the impulse block that corresponds to the prefix of letters that we've already typed. So this is the location of C-R-U-C-I, which is the prefix of some words. And the commands that come after it are basically all the legal things that I could type on the keyboard encoded uh, letters encoded as numbers. And so there is a scoreboard objective called L that basically takes on values from 0 to 26. 0 is A, and 1 is B, 
and you know two three four five is f and finally 26 is backspace and all the legal things that I can do from CRUCI are actually, in this case, those four things. I can type in A, which is going to teleport the lava slime, the magma cube, to a different location somewhere in this giant array of blocks. If I type a B, it'll bring me to a different location. If I type an F, it'll bring me to a different location. And if I type a backspace, which I encode as number 26, it'll bring me to yet another location. And so all we do is we move the lava slime from this position to that position to that position as we type more letters or as we backspace over them. And whenever the lava slime arrives at one of these new positions, it will either fill things with wool 14 if it wants red because something is currently not a word, or it'll do wool 5 for green things that are currently a word. And yeah, if I go and just uh, type, you know, B, you can see that the lava slime, the magma cube goes and teleports away to its new location where it has all the computations for the prefix C R U C I B. And the same kind of thing just happens over and over. And so as a result, there are no loops, there's no fill clocks, there's no repeating command blocks. Basically, each time I type something on the keyboard, you can see where this magma cube got teleported right over here. So that's the prefix C-R-U-C-I-B. But basically, it's a whole big giant array <laughs> of all the possible prefix locations in the dictionary, all 172,000 words. And so the current state is kept by that lava slime. And that's all we need to do. And so down here, back at the bottom, I have kind of the command blocks for the keyboard. And so there's just a small number of commands that run each time I kind of type another key. And over here, this is basically, there's 27 things here. And so we have A all the way down to Z and finally backspace. And each of these just does very uh, simple thing. It sets the score of the lava slime to whichever key I just typed. And then at the lava slime, it goes and activates the particular command block uh, that he's currently sitting in, which will then cause him to kind of run the logic that then colors the keyboard red or green and also teleports him to a new location. And it's kind of as simple as that. And so it was all a matter of just writing some code to start with a dictionary, to start with a giant text file of 100,000 words or 170,000 words or whatever it was and encode it as this giant array of command blocks. But that was actually pretty straightforward to do, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm saying it's straightforward to do and I, I have a PhD in computer science, so maybe it wouldn't be straightforward for everybody to do, but it only took me, I don't know, a couple of hours to write a couple hundred lines of code to do that. And so, yeah, as a result, we have a very fast Scrabble dictionary. I am Dr. Brian Lorgan 111 and I hope <laughs> that you enjoyed this video. Oh man, I wish I were a faster typer on this keyboard. But in any case, if you have not checked out Seth Bling's original video where he did a Scrabble dictionary that kind of inspired me to do this, you should check it out. I will leave a link in the description. If you'd like to see more videos by me, yours truly, Lorgon111, you could subscribe to my channel or just check out on my channel's page all the different videos that I have there. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.